Hello and welcome back to Frogboy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew and today we're checking out for Spoken on PS5. Now I found a way to make this game look incredible on a 4K OLED. So I want to let you know because if this was a reason that you were thinking about possibly not picking this up, let's get into this right now. So we're going to go ahead and start for Spoken. My TV right now is in 4K mode um, with... Uh, the VRR enabled with 120 FPS, all, all of that's enabled right now. Uh, so, so that shouldn't be a problem, but I was noticing with this game right here, when you are playing it in performance mode, it does look rather not appealing. So we're going to go ahead and show you how to fix that. Um, because if you're anybody and you can get into this, you can get into this game and you can look around. And now if you look at this right now, like everything just, just looks fuzzy. It looks blurry. And you're like, oh man, that's that's not good, you know, playing this in uh seven like it's it's like 720p or something. So uh ooh, piece candy box. But yeah, like I, I was looking at this and I was like, wow, that does not look that great on a 4K screen. Uh, what what you're seeing on my screen like right now will be, um, I am recording this video at 1440p, so you you won't necessarily be able to see this on a on a smaller TV. But maybe if you put it on like your 4K TV, like you can look at the grass and everything, and it looks a little bit fuzzy. So now is what we're gonna do is we're gonna get out of here. We're going to go home. We're going to stop the game. Now, there's a reason why we're stopping the game, just to make sure this, this effect actually works. Now, my my capture card will record the 4K and, um, uh, well, the so is what you're going to do is you're going to come into screen and video. You're going to come down here to resolution. You're going to knock that down to 1080p. Trust me, trust me. I know, I know, I know you're like, oh, 1080p. So you're going to knock that to 1080p. You're going to leave your automatic VRR on. You're going to leave your 120 FPS on. Those, those are fine. Those, those will work as long as you have that. This trick should work for pretty much any 4K TV. You just set your resolution to 1080p, and then you'll go right back here. You'll jump back into Forspoken. Uh, there's a reason why we let it completely uh, turn all the way off, and then we'll, we'll go back into it so that it... Uh, so that it actually, I'm, I'm showing you like the whole thing without any cuts. <laughs> so is what's going to happen now is your TV, instead of your PlayStation 5 or something else trying to upscale the image with like FSR 2.1 or anything like that, your, your TV is going to handle all of that upscaling for you. And it's going to automatically, instantly, everything looks much sharper, much crisper. Yeah. A lot better now the tv that i'm using is the vizio h1 oled so this tv here has an incredible like a really nice like if you've got an L lg or something like that um yeah you probably it probably looks okay just on the 4k leaving it on the 4k but i i recommend trying this because oh my gosh man when i saw this when i set this in 1080p today uh, and i was looking at this i was like you cannot be serious this literally looks incredible running running on this TV now. Like it looks sharp, it looks crisp, it looks like it is literally native 4K. Let me turn Faye around so you guys can see her face. Like she looks incredible, man. She literally looks incredible. The uh the ground textures, everything now looks sharper and crisper. It's not fuzzy, it's not blurry. Even, I mean, like, you do get a little bit of aliasing, like, way back there. Actually, no. No, that looks nice and sharp back there, too. That thing way back there. That, uh, that, that tower up there. That looks sharp and crispy. The, uh, the, the particle effects coming off of, off of Faye don't, don't look like they look even better now. <laughs> That's pretty cool, man. I, I, I like the fact that these newer TVs have this upscaling technology because it, it does, it makes the image look far better, far better. Where? Oh, dude, the, the talking thing. There's nothing. I mean, you're not going to be able to fix that. If you don't like that, you're not going to be able to fix that. But 
I am so much more on board with this now because because this looks great. Now, I was already planning on buying this and uh, reviewing it on the channel. But, uh, yeah, now I'm even more excited about it, being able to play it on the OLED than I was because I was just going to play it on my monitor because it looks, it looks as sharp now on the 4K OLED as it did on my monitor. And I don't know if this has been updated. I don't think they've updated this, this, this freaking beta or... Uh, demo or whatever. I don't think they've updated it. The water surface doesn't look fuzzy or blurry anymore. Um, and and you can try this right now. Like you can try this on your own screen to see if you can. Uh, so so that you can see this before you even buy it. Just so you know, like dude, I'm not just saying that. Like <laughs> you can actually see this. I'm pretty sure if you've got at least a Vizio H1 OLED or <laughs> or better. That you'll be able to be able to see all of this too. Yeah, the flu the fluid motion because of the 120 FPS. You're getting the you're getting the the TV's auto upscaler. Like if you get, I'm sitting three feet away from my TV right now. If you get really close to it and you look, like you can see the sharpness in the pixels. Like it it does look sharp. It looks it looks incredible. It doesn't look all blurry or nothing. Um, you can also get into your tv i mean if you want to do this i i don't know if i would i don't know if i would recommend it but uh let's go ahead and put this on like the, the super sharp thing i mean you can go down and you can turn sharpness up a little even a little bit more i don't know if i would go past let's see start getting up to 30 things start to look a little bit weird at 30 so come back down to maybe 20 maybe maybe 20 if you want extra added crispness if you want it to look really crispy still <clears throat> i would say i would say 20 on your sharpness scale and then everything looks even just a little bit more sharp <laughs> but i kind of like the i kind of like the um uh, the way it looks with just it being even with without any sharpness on because the sharpness the sharpness makes it look all right but the i meant the sharpness kind of makes it look a little like i said a little more crispy but it also looks better without it also looks good with that like you can see all these like these flowers right now man they look super sharp <laughs> like they look really really sharp with that just set at 20. Like you can look out here and everything's starting to, I mean, it looks so much sharper, a little bit more detailed. I'm telling you, man, this is, this is a beautiful looking game. Now it looks a lot better, a lot better with that extra added sharpness. That does look a little better. Let's see what it looks like at 10. I think, I think maybe 15 might be the sweet spot for that guys. Maybe 15. Let's see. Yeah, 15 looks just a little bit. 15 looks 15 is like I think 15 is probably the sweet spot. It looks it looks more it it looks a little bit softer and not as not as crispy. But dude, to be able to fix this game with with something like that and to have it looking a little bit better, like I like these flowers. Like this is such a beautiful looking spot right here. I'm actually even more interested in this game. I can't wait to I can't wait to play this in in a few more days, like in a couple weeks. Like this is this is gonna be like the first game to kick off 2023 for me, and I'm actually rather excited about it now. So uh yeah, you can see like the 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 tower over there. It looks crisp, like it looks sharp. Dude, this looks incredible, man. This this looks a lot better with it being sharp for sure. Um, I do recommend trying this out and seeing if and seeing if you can see what I see. I'm literally three feet away from my TV, not even three feet, like maybe two feet away, and it looks really sharp, really good now, like really good. I got my color set to vivid, so the vivid like kicks it off and kind of makes the colors punch just a little bit more. And it, yeah, this this is cool, man. I I like the I do like the traversal system in this game. Like, that is pretty cool. Like, these rock faces now. They look so much nicer. So much nicer. 
Yes. That was, this is all I needed to see to be like excited about this game now. Oh, I ran out of magic. Like, yeah, this, this is, this is good. I'm, I'm, I'm a lot more happy about this now because I was already about 50, 50 on this game, guys. Like I was, I was about 50, 50 on this. I was thinking, man, do I really want to buy that? Do I really, do I, but Square Enix putting out a demo definitely gave me the confidence to be like, all right, yes, I will buy that. I will play that. I will review it on the channel. Um, and we'll, we'll see what this game has to offer. Like we will, we will definitely, we will definitely give it its fair shake. I mean, this looks, this looks so much sharper now. So much better. So much better guys. So much better. Like the, oh man, I'm very excited to play this. It looks really, really good. Really crispy. Man, I was I was I was struggling with this game, guys. I'm not even gonna lie. I was struggling, and I, and I was like, yeah, dude. I mean, my plan was like, I'll just play it on the monitor, but now I feel like, dude, I could play through this on my 4K screen like this. Like this looks okay. This looks okay. Like there's, I mean, yeah. If you look out there in the distance a little bit, you'll you'll see some stuff that you'll be like, man, and yeah, about that. But man, it's not that bad, especially for an open world game. It does, I mean, it does look a little bland, but not, not to the point where I'm just, I'm hoping there's a little, I'm hoping there's more to this game, guys, because they've been working on this for a while. And I feel like this is one that I saw and I was like, yeah, dude, I want to play that. Like I was, I was pretty hyped when we originally first saw this game. Like I was really hyped for it and I still am hyped now. Now that I see this on my 4K screen and it actually looks good, man. Oh boy. I want to play this so bad. I am a lot more excited about this game now than I than I was when the demo first launched. Something in the middle of that pool, you know? Ooh, uh. Like this is so cool, man. All right. Okay, that's basically what I wanted to show you. I mean, like, look at Faye. She looks pretty good. She's looking pretty good with, like, it, it looks a lot better, man. It looks so much cleaner. It does. It looks so much cleaner. It looks sharp. There's a lot of detail. I I like it. I like it. I, I can't wait to try this game out. I can't wait to, I can't wait to actually try this game out. Uh, to actually play through it and, and to find out what the story content is. I'm really excited for for what this is. Like the combat is actually kind of growing on me a little bit too. Like the com yeah, like the combat's cool. Yeah, like the the combat in this game is getting pretty dang good. Well, if I could stay like freaking focused on this one. Boom. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I, I like it. Yeah, boom. Sorry, I'm like focusing on the combat now because apparently you got to beat like a bunch of these guys. Dang, how many of these freaking alligators are there? Uh. 
Dang, man. I like it when they're all like vulnerable. Yeah, this is good, man. I think uh, I think I'm gonna really enjoy this game. Like I'm really looking forward to it. I'm I'm so glad that I actually tried this one more time today because this this definitely is 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 really cool that I figured this out. It's gonna make this in a much better experience. Oh, dude, those guys hit hard, man, when they come up behind you. See, I like the melee part of it. I really do like that. The fact that you got melee or ranged combat in here is like, that's like one of those things I was, I'm really happy about. Dang, I was like, is there another one? Oh yeah, there is another one over there, but apparently I don't gotta fight him. I only had to fight the ones that were that were guarding it or something. <laughs> nice. What do we got here? Like this is pretty cool, guys. This is pretty cool. The visual thing was definitely something that I was a little bit worried about, but I can I can hang with this. This looks so much better now. So, all right, man. If you guys like this content, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. We got some lofty goals next year for for growing the channel. So hopefully, you hit that like and subscribe button, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.